Hello and welcome to Forrester High School Maths Department's Level 3 Support Materials. My name is Mr. McDonald and I'll be talking you through your topic today. Today our learning intentions are to be able to identify the rate of pay for an employee, that means how much that they make every hour, and to be able to find weekly, monthly or annual, which means yearly, pay as well. So the first type of question we're going to look at today is how to calculate someone's hourly pay. That might be called the rate of pay as well. It's another um, phrase for that same thing. Hourly pay or rate of pay. Our question says, Michelle's a hairdresser. This week she worked eight hours and then took a holiday. Uh, she was paid £63.28. Calculate Michelle's hourly pay. Okay, so um, this woman only worked eight hours for the week uh, and then she took a holiday. So what we're doing is we're taking what she earned 63 pound 28 and we're dividing it by the eight hours that she worked okay so all we have to do here is set up a division sum 63 pounds and 28 pence and i'm dividing that by eight so eight doesn't go into six so we square out the six and we carry it on eight goes into 63 seven times with a remainder of 7. 8 goes into 72, 9 times. And 8 goes into 8, 1 time. I need to make sure that my answer has a decimal point in the same position that my number that's being divided has a decimal point. So my final answer here is that Michelle makes £7.91 every hour that she works as a hairdresser. Here's another slightly more complicated example. Um, Dev is a phone salesman. This week he worked 30 hours in a high street shop. He was paid £253.50 for that. Calculate Dev's hourly pay. Okay, so we've got our earnings of £253.50 and we've got 30 hours um, that he worked. So what we need to do is we need to divide 30 into £253.50. Now, a nice, easy strategy for dividing something by 30 is because 30 is the same as 3 times 10, we can divide by 3, and then we can divide our final answer by 10 after that. So I'm going to do £253.50 divided by 3, first of all. And then when I get a final answer for that, I'm going to divide it by 10 after that to get my actual answer. So, three into two doesn't go, I'm gonna cross out the two and carry it on. Three goes into 25 eight times with a remainder of one. Three goes into 13 four times with a remainder of one. Three goes into 15 five times with a remainder of zero and three goes into zero, zero times. Again, I have to line up my decimal points so that uh, the answer and the divider um, both have decimal points in the same position. Okay, then we've got £84.50, but remember, we've only divided by 3 so far. We also want to divide um, our final answer by 10. So I take that £84.50. You should be able to do this without a division sum, 84 pounds and 50, divided by 10. When you divide by 10, that has the same effect as moving all the numbers over the decimal point one place to the right. So you get eight pound and 45 as your final answer. You can put the zero on the end if you want, but normally money is just written with two decimal places. So eight pound and 45 is absolutely fine as a final answer. Okay, so that was the first type of question that we have looked at, and um, that should be done without a calculator. It's all about division sums and testing your ability to divide. Um, and now we're going to move on to uh, a second type of question where you can use a calculator. This is all about calculating weekly, monthly and annual pay. Harris is a foreman and he earns a monthly pay of £2,458.75. Find his annual pay. 
Right, okay, so there's a clue um, in the question about how to do this. Let's just highlight some of these words here. Um, monthly pay and annual pay. Okay, so we have how much he makes in a month. Uh, Harris makes £2,458.75 a month. We want to find how much he makes a year. That's what annual pay means, how much he makes every year. So all we need to think about is how many months are in a year. And the answer is 12 months in a year. So all we have to do is figure out what his monthly pay is times by 12. So we're going to do this sum here, 2, 4, 5, 8, 0.75 times 12. And like I say, because you can use a calculator for this, um, we can just go straight to the final answer. We don't have to do any chimney sums or anything. And we get a final answer of 29,505 pounds. And that's how much Harris will make in a whole year. Okay, here's a second example like that. Lisa is a TV weather forecaster and earns a weekly pay of £1,008.50. Her uh, annual pay is what we're looking for. And again, this is a slightly different question just because, again, the wording is slightly different. We've got weekly pay this time. And we're looking for her annual pay, which means pay in a year. And we know that her weekly pay is £1,008.50. So again, we need to know our facts about our calendar. How many weeks are there in every year? Well, we should know that 52 weeks equals one year. Okay, so again, the sum that we have to set up is 1,008. Pound fifty pence times by fifty two, and we get our final answer of fifty two thousand four hundred and forty two pounds five two four four two. And again, that's all we have to do to work out how much Lisa makes in one whole year. When we're doing these questions, we need to also be able to work backwards. Um, so in this question, again, highlighting the important language, we have this pilot, Teresa's annual salary of £63,850, and we want to find her monthly pay. Okay, so we know the amount of money that Teresa makes in a year is 63850 We want to find her monthly pay. So from our facts before, we know that there are 12 months in a year. All we need to do is we need to take her annual pay, 63,850. And this time, instead of multiply, we divide by how many months in the year, which is 12. Again, because we're working with a calculator, we're going to calculate this and divide to two decimal places because we're working with money and there's never any more than two decimal places on the end of a money question. So our final answer is 5,320 pounds and rounding to two decimal places, 83 pence. Okay, and that's how much Teresa will make every month before tax. Right, one more quick example about this. Rory is a TV stuntman. He earns an annual salary of 50,000 £346.40. Uh, you need to find his weekly pay this time. So again, slowing this down a wee bit, highlighting the things that are important. We've got weekly pay, we've got annual salary that we know about, which is £50,000, um, £346.40. And, and what we need to do is we need to find weekly pay. So 
50,346 pounds, 40 pence. We want to find weekly pay, we need to divide because we've already got the yearly, so we're dividing to find something smaller and we need to divide by how many weeks in the year, which is 52. So our final answer here is 968 pounds and 20 pence. Just a little aside, remember not to write down 968.2 pounds, um, which might be how you get it in the calculator, but always remember money questions have two decimal places at the end. Right, thank you very much second years and third years for watching this video. Uh, you can watch this video again and pause if you need to take notes. Uh, you can ask for advice on show my homework from your teacher. And the deadline for this activity uh, that is attached to this video is Friday the 12th of June. Best of luck and keep working hard.